I'm sorry, slug, but we're doing sheep today and you bounce around. So, Typo, come on. I'm sorry, Danny. Good girl. Goodbye, slug. Just gotten here. I'm just pulling the ute out. I'm going to go find Dad and see what he wants me to do because there's a few possible things I could be doing. We should be harvesting today. First day of the longest stint and hopefully the last one. We should be able to get it done. Um, we've, only, we've got half the wheat left to do and then that's it. I think it's like 150 hectares left or something like that. I'm just gonna take the trailer off the, off the patrol and put it on the back of the ranger. Where the fuck are the keys? Who's taking the fucking keys? My ass has taken the keys, don't worry about it. Apparently you missed most of that because it stopped playing, but it was a process. There's lambs. I assume they're meant to be there. Trailer's on the ranger. Now we're off. That'll do nicely. Now I just gotta get in. These are the lambs that are going down to the bean stubble um, down the road. The key to packing these trailers is pack them tight enough that they're not gonna kill each other, but don't pack them too tight that they'll kill each other. Generally, one race fits in the trailer. <laughs> we'll be back for you. That one's been fly blown. That's what's wrong with it before I get comments. It's all good. I can see the sheep. Normally, you'd fill that gap, but because they're quite tied up the top, I'm not going to. We're on our way to the wheat stubble. Woo! We were going to put them in the beans, but the beans have started to germinate. So, the there's two paddocks of beans there next to each other. So after the lambs that are down there have finished in one, we'll just push them through to the other and then they can finish that other one. Here's their new destination. There's a couple of fat lambs in here. Already having their snacks. Some people might think it's cruel for sheep to be packed in trailers tightly. Same with the truck, but you do it for their safety. If you don't pack them tightly, they lay down and then the others are going to move around and trample them and then they die so it's not good when they're packed tightly they're forced to all stand up and they've all got a they've we've arrived oh, there's one laid down see i've see how i left this gap if i filled that gap that lamb wouldn't be laying down on a longer trip that could have ended up not good out your hop let's go one oh you have to count them when they get off Come on, let's go. Two. Three. Fun little dudes. What fits in here fits in the trailer. Come on. Come on. There we go. Poo, poo, poo. Poo, 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 poo. Perfect. See how they're nicely packed? but they're not too packed. This isn't gonna be a fight in the comments because I've spoken about this previously. I just wanted to highlight this comment. Um, once again, I would like to remind you, farm sheep are not pets. But look, if you're that desperate to humanize animals, humanize them this way. Picture this, you've just given birth, King Louis the 14th style. You're laying there. Hang on, let me count these sheep. Boop, boop, boop. 30. 32, 33. You've just shot out your petri dish, bled everywhere, crying, screaming, all that shit. Literally. Wow. Now, some random stranger off the street comes in and slowly starts stroking you and scratches behind your ear. It's a bit fucking weird, hey? Also, it's a fucking sheep. Not as flat as I'd like it, but still should be fine.
couple of odds and ends have been brought in. Um, they're just sheep that have kind of gone through the fence or been left behind in some paddocks. So we're just sorting through them now. Rail are ready to take lambs back to the rape because that's where most of the lambs are from. Here are the rape lambs. I'll take them over now. Back to put my hat on. I've got it in my hand. It's 9.44, but it's getting warm very quickly. Update on the original rape paddock. It's looking quite well, good. Um, some of the patches now in there, you can hardly see the sheep because it's that tall. It's starting to get a real broccoli smell. Just imagine broccoli, but lots of it. And that's the smell near the um, rape now. Out your hop. These lambs here, these would will be ready to go. Probably, they're probably at weight now, really. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I've got a seed in my boob. Oh, neighbors drove past while I was getting the seed out of my boob. Lovely. And they're off to find another hole in the fence to go through. All right, Dad hasn't separated them for me, so it's gonna be a hope for the best situation. For the Australian culture segment, can you guys like ask me what you want to know about? Timeline stop and then just the merinos left to go. Next stop, Crime Line. Three of you. 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 Last stop, Marinos. Everybody up. Righto, ladies. Let's go. Right, next job. I just got back. Hector's not too far away with the mob of sheep, so I'm just going to comb through some of my fleeces. There's a heap of bugs are on them. And I want to spin, because I want to spin this wool, and I'm going to try and get all the um, organic stuff out of them. I'm trying to clear all this out because we're going to be shearing in March. I've only been doing it for a little bit, but I'll have a heap more wool next year and I'm just going to, it's going to get to the point where I need to start either, I need to fuck it off. <laughs> so let me know if you would buy some wool. I've got pepper in these two bags and I've got Dave in that one. Dryer balls is something else that seems to be popular. Let me know if you'd buy them. Please bear in mind I'm processing and washing and doing everything myself so it's not it's, it's not industry quality wool. Come on! <laughs> oh, we're just putting these in here. They're beautiful rams. Isn't he a stunner? A couple that have come through the fence, live for it. And there's a couple lambs that need to be taken off as well, which is not great, but <laughs> Putting them back in undercover while we go have lunch. Hello, my slug. Slug's been let out of the cage. Liam has just left. He's going, he's harvesting, going harvesting. I'm just going to turn the fan on for lampshade and donut. So this is the alien wool who, which has been cleaned. This is alien who has been carded and ready to go. And I'll show you. Here is alien spun. It's a little bit, little tiniest bit, still a little bit greasy, but I read that that's normal in hand wash wool and there's not a lot you can do about it unless you've got an industrial setup. Can't have long things in my mouth on camera. Buy the drone up and see how far away he is. Got time to do the other thing. <laughs> Right, he's all the way out in the hill paddock. Go check, see how far away he is again. I just don't want to have to take the thing, the thing off. See if I can find some sunnies anywhere too. Turning up now. I'll just give it a sec. I'll go find some sunnies. <laughs> So 
they've been sorted. Turns out the drone went back um, just before we started um, and Dad rocked up with his dogs and they started moving properly. So, not good. The lamb's going into the shed. They're going to be drenched and the bigger ones will be clicked, I imagine, or maybe all of them, depending on what Dad wants to do. And then they'll be going on the trailer. Where can I put this? It's gonna, not going to get knocked over. Three mil of that for each lamb. 450 of that. So we're just drenching the lambs as boys and girls. The biggest ones are being taken out because they're going. Just off with those lambs it is really hot I'm sweating hard but we'll take these lambs up now just got to shut this gate properly and then the lambs will come out give me a moment okay so these lambs are going on to one of the new rape paddocks as you can see we've got a lot of feed in here they should grow quickly and nicely When you wean lambs off of ewes, it's important that you take them out of not only eyesight, but also earsight of the mums. Oop. Here we go. That's 24. I'll just load these bigger lambs up. These will be going on Tuesday. Because these will all be 50, 60 kilos, all these lambs. Hey, look, except that one. That end one won't be. Hello, Leo. Can you see the slug in Leo? Tilly, 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 Tilly. This is Dad's new work dog. She's a red kelp. She's running away. Now I'm locked out of my fucking car. That'd be right, wouldn't it? Gonna have to try and get the keys through the window. I've only got this tiny little slit to work with and the keys are... Is that them there? Yes. Look at that, look at that. There we go. Fish the fucking things out. Oh, that was annoying. Lucky I left the window open. Can't even blame it on Slug, she's not here. Like the video or typo will lock your keys in your car.